What's up gamers, Pro Warriors here, and today, I've got a mind-blowing video for you. Finally, the Xbox emulator Xenia is running on Android. No jokes, no fake hype. I'm not talking about some cloud streaming service. I'm talking about a real native Xenia Xbox emulator that can run classics like Halo 2, GTA San Andreas, Forza Motorsport, and even Fable smoothly right on your phone. This method even works on Mali GPU devices using the Game Hub emulator. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll see Xbox 360 gaming come alive on Android like never before. Let's jump right in. First things first, let's clear up a common misunderstanding. There is no official Android version of Xenia, the Xbox 360 emulator. Xenia was built specifically for PC platforms like Windows and Linux. So how are we running it on Android? Here's the trick. We use a PC emulator for Android called Game Hub. That means your Android device first emulates a Windows environment, and inside that environment, we then run the Xenia Xbox 360 emulator. Sounds crazy, right? But it actually works, and I'll show you exactly how to set it up. Since we're running two emulators at the same time, this setup requires a powerful, high-end Android device. At a minimum, you should have a device with at least an Adreno 750 GPU and 8GB of RAM to handle the workload. Now the first step is to download both the Xenia emulator and the Game Hub emulator. First, download the latest version of the Game Hub emulator. Head over to the official Game Hub website and download the APK file. Don't worry, it's 100% free and officially powered by games, so you're in safe hands. Once downloaded, install the APK just like any other app. After that, launch Game Hub. The app will prompt you to log in, and you've got options. Use your email, Google account, or Apple ID. I recommend signing in with your Google account. It's the fastest and easiest way to get started. Next, you'll be asked to pick an emoji for your profile. Just tap the circle, choose your favorite emoji, and you're good to go. Then, set a display name or nickname so other Game Hub users can find you and hit continue. Now let's install Xenia. Head over to the official website where you'll find two different versions available, the Master Build and the Canary Build. Both of these versions work inside Game Hub, but I personally recommend going with the regular Master version for better stability. Once the download is complete, simply extract the ZIP file into a dedicated folder on your Android device and keep it organized, because we'll be using this folder later when we set up Xenia inside Game Hub. Now launch Game Hub, tap on My, then go to the Import section and select PC Game. Navigate to the folder in your phone storage where you stored the Xenia file. After adding the Xenia emulator, Game Hub will start installing the required firmware to run Xenia on Android. Once that process is done, open Xenia. At first, you might face bugs and issues because the default settings aren't optimized, but don't worry, we'll fix that. Tap the three dots next to your game and open PC Game Settings. Under the General Settings tab, you'll find the option to adjust the resolution. I recommend setting the resolution to 720p for a balance between visuals and performance. For DirectX HUD set as simple. For the compatibility layer, select Proton 10. For translation parameters, if your device is high-end, select Performance or Fast Mode. For mid-range, choose Normal or Safe and Fast. Here you'll also find the latest GPU drivers supported by Snapdragon devices. For DXVK, download DXVK V 2.6-1. For VKD3D, go with VKD3D Proton. For the translator, use Box64 version 0.35. Exactly like this. Now, launch Xenia again. And this time, it's booting perfectly. Let's enable the control layout and switch to full screen for the best experience. Next, go to the file section and open your Xbox 360 game directory. Here I have Mortal Kombat stored on my Android device. Select it and tap Open and WoW Mortal Kombat has successfully started. We're getting low FPS, since two emulator and screen recorder is running at the same time. This is an experimental method, and honestly, emulation inside an emulator is not the ideal way to play Xbox 360 games on Android, but if you have Adreno 850, then I think you will not face any issues. But here's the good news. A few underground projects are already in development, like Xenite and Xenia Android, both from the same developer who created APS3E. We even have an early release of Xanite, but right now it's just a UI showcase. The developer has promised that in the next major update, it will be able to run both original Xbox games and Xbox 36 titles. So it's very clear that the journey is just beginning. We still have a long way to go, but we should definitely appreciate and support the developers pushing this forward. That's it for today, guys. We've already made several videos on Xbox emulation and cloud gaming, so if you're interested, make sure to check out the playlist on the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash the bell icon so you don't miss future updates and gameplay tests. Take care.